everybody. I am meteorologist Caitlin Roth. Happy Friday. Happy holiday break. Happy almost Christmas. Um, happy holiday rush, maybe, because we're all trying to get where we need to be or get everything done uh, before we settle in for the holiday. So we're going to talk a little weather here. Uh, on Fox 5 Local and wherever you stream, so uh, you can get a sense of what we're talking about for the holiday. Um, it's been a really quiet week here in D.C. It's been chilly, yes, but all week long I've been talking about how we're not expecting any really disruptive weather. So the good news is no major storms, no crazy temperature swings, nothing along the eastern seaboard that would grind traffic to a halt or the airlines to a halt uh, as we learned last year because all it takes is a winter storm and chaos ensues. So there are a couple of trouble spots around the country. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of give you a broad forecast if you're traveling and then we'll hone in on what's happening around here for the holidays. So let's get into it. Uh, the thing about our forecast is, no, it's not bad, but it's not going to be the prettiest. So temperatures will be a little milder. We're not talking about a lot of rain and we're definitely not talking about any winter weather, but weekend clouds and drizzle sounds pretty dreary and it kind of is. So this afternoon, Live look at Reagan National, busy as can be, I'm sure. It looks a little hazy uh, from our Fox 5 Sky camera at the wharf, and that is because we do have a little bit of low-level moisture overhead. It's a little cloudy, and uh, it's not reducing visibility or anything. This is not fog, but there is a bit of filtered sunshine coming through that haze. Temperatures, I was walking around today and thought, hey, it doesn't feel bad, but I think I've just acclimated to the cold uh, that we've had this week, where temperatures are seasonable for December. It's 48 degrees at Reagan, 50 at Dulles, and 45 at BWI, with again, just a few peaks of some hazy sunshine. So there's the clouds spanning out across the mid-Atlantic, very widely scattered showers across the Ohio Valley. That's loosely associated with some rain. And by the way, just rain from Minneapolis all the way down through Houston. So there is no snow on this map right now maybe all the way out in the Cascades in the Pacific Northwest, but talk about an absence of snow, an absence of cold as we lead into the Christmas holiday. And this is for our even our most northern states, which usually have some form of a white Christmas, whether there's snow on the ground or snow that is falling or will be falling. So the showers across Chicago and St. Louis may cause a few delays, but the bigger issue is low pressure swirling over the desert southwest. L.A. is now on, I think, day three of rain. It continues across the Southern California stretch. Las Vegas seeing some showers and Phoenix uh, really seeing some rain. They've got kind of the more organized precipitation streaming in across Arizona and maybe I think at the highest elevations there in Arizona, they're seeing some snow on the mountaintops and at the ski resorts. But if they have ski resorts in Arizona, I don't even know if they do. But places like Flagstaff, the highest elevations are maybe seeing some snow. So when it comes to airport delays, notice LA, of course, uh, they are having plenty of weather related delays and the delays are increasing. So. This always happens in the morning if there's weather issues, things have the domino effect and they just tend to get worse as the day goes on. More mild delays at Phoenix. It was raining steadily last hour. They're now dry, kind of in a break, mostly cloudy 59. And then you notice San Diego's okay. The precipitation's mostly north of them. Seattle's okay. No fog this afternoon. And locally, obviously no problems at Dulles or National. And Dallas, uh, which had the rain yesterday and still has a few showers around, also looks okay. So as far as travel hazards go, showers in St. Louis and Chicago will move east overnight. By tomorrow morning, that orange color indicates where there's fog, and that is where the rain was today, again from the Twin Cities down through Dallas. Low pressure moves out of California, and it is over the four corners. It's going to start to bring snow to the Rockies, so Denver getting a little bit of snow, Wyoming, parts of the Dakotas, and that becomes rain once again border to border across the central part of the country. So that's two low pressure systems in a row that are bringing rain to Minnesota and Wisconsin, places that you would think would be getting snow but are not. Notice the snow showers continue into Christmas Eve there in Denver. So when it comes to a white Christmas, a very limited portion of the area getting that snow on Christmas Eve is going to see uh, dusting because it's not much. I mean, less than an inch in Denver, an inch across North Platte, Nebraska. You get up towards Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You're getting a couple inches. Even Fargo, it's not much. So 
this is it when it comes to the white Christmas snow forecast. We will not have a white Christmas and a lot of places that normally do missing out on it this year just because it's too mild. It's an El Nino year. We expected this, so not really a big surprise. Back home here, this is a look at our forecast, chilly and dry to start, but again, mostly cloudy on Saturday. And then look what happens on Sunday. We get some of that moisture in here and we're talking morning fog and drizzle. It's gonna be cold too. So this will be a damp, chilly, raw morning Christmas Eve. Not the best to be out and about, but if you are traveling, I would say if you're traveling early, be a little careful. Fog and drizzle can reduce visibility out there on the roads. It should get a little bit better into the afternoon as uh, we dry out a bit. High pressure kind of builds in from the north and that will keep things dry for Christmas Day. So holiday outlook, yeah, you've got the clouds and drizzle and fog on Christmas Eve, high of 52. And Christmas Day, maybe some early morning fog, but uh, you know, Santa's sleigh will get in no problem. He's used to this. North Pole serves up a lot more tricks than that. 55 for the high temperature. So temperatures are a little milder than say what we've had this past week where it's been pretty chilly and high temperatures are in the 40s. Real quick, one other thing I wanna show, great graphic here for our local ski reports. You know, we have not had any snow this week, but uh, last week and into the weekend, yes, along the Allegheny front, they did get some good snowfall. So notice that uh, snowshoe, eight inches of fresh powder. That's great, their base is up in over 40 inches, a little less there in wintergreen. Uh, Whitetail not even open yet. Wisp, two inches new. Seven Springs, eight inches. Timberline, I think, is winning with a foot of fresh powder. And uh, most of the trails are open. So this is just, this is normal. A lot of the uh, resorts start to open on like kind of a partial basis. So anyone who wants to go skiing over the holidays can take part in that. And it's beautiful out there and it's snow covered and it's gonna give you the white Christmas that we have not gotten around here, right? So there's your full seven day. Just want to show you that what we'll be tracking next week is rain, likely on Tuesday for return travel. Rain showers could linger into Wednesday, Thursday, and then maybe even a flurry on Friday. So it does look um, a little bit busier next week. So um, getting to Christmas and through Christmas, uh, no big storms, but then by the day after Christmas, we'll be tracking some rain. And I think by New Year's weekend, so the weekend leading into the new year, it could get pretty cold around here. So that would be the first step in getting some snow for those of you who want some snow. But no snow coming this Christmas. Watch out for that fog and drizzle Sunday morning and hope everyone has a wonderful holiday. Happy holidays from us here at Fox 5 and um, enjoy your Christmas and we'll touch base with you again next week on the forecast. Thanks.